The following program contains language, images, and or subject matter that may be objectionable to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Direct from Albany, New York, it's time for The Media Zone! With your hosts, Ed and Dave! Tonight, a look at this week's new film and DVD releases. And the chance to win free movie tickets with the Poster Pairs game. And now your hosts, Ed and Dave! Hello and welcome to the special 21st season opener, Dave. Is this? Yes. Oh. Is it really? I didn't know this. <laughs> right. We discussed it while you were upstairs. That uh, You did? Yeah. Well, you, you're on the phone making last oh. minute arrangements up there. Oh, okay. That this is the 21st season, September uh, 22nd. This is airing in most places. And so why is this the season opener? Why wasn't like next um, show be the season opener or the one before this? It, be the well, last week we had one of our special episodes where well, we wouldn't count a down. a special kind of be like a season opener? It could if we had uh, taped something to stick in front of it, but this is a good time when this is the premiere week usually. Wow. NBC us when all the <laughs> remember those promos. Yes, I didn't see too many this summer. Did you? Uh, no. I saw a lot of the broad with the uh, the <laughs> tattoos getting out of the bag in Times Square. That seemed to be. <laughs> is that that's a good Frank Sinatra term? The right. broad. Right. We the broad. We mentioned that we we're bringing that back. That term. Are we? All right. I think that uh, woman was the uh, Terminator in that Terminator series, the Sarah Connor Chronicles. I think that's Sarah Connor. Now she has all tattoos all over. Oh. Did, have you seen? Of course, later on we might do a TV show. Uh, you know, going over all the new TV shows, Dave. <laughs> right. Have you, <laughs> By the time we get to that show, we'll you know be done with most of them. But uh, have anything uh, coming out that you see you might be interested in? No. <laughs> no. Um, oh, I do know. Actually, starting in uh, maybe about three weeks from today, the National Hockey League starts up. Oh, that's good. I'll be watching that. Don't you have a special channel for that? Only if you order it. Yeah. You get the... NHL center ice package for a ridiculous amount of money, which I'm not getting this year. I didn't have mm. last year. I didn't have it for the last couple of years. I thought you had that. I had it for three years. That stopped. Hmm. As it's very expensive to watch a bunch of games that you're not interested in. I mm. just want to watch my team. That's it. Mm -hmm. And I think this year they might be offering a package where you could just buy your team. Yeah, well, that would, that be, would good. be good. And, yeah. I'll, and I might get it on my computer this time. Uh -huh. Because if you get it on your... TV through, you know, you don't have to watch, you have to be at, you're at home. Mm -hmm. But if I'm not home, I can just sign in, log in my computer and watch it there. On any of your personal devices. Of which I have just a laptop. <laughs> okay, I was going to ask. I know you can't get it on your phone. No, unless, uh, you know, Nokia track phone suddenly <laughs> comes out with a brand new big screen phone other than the crap I have. Your phone is not smart, Dave. It is not smart. It's barely dumb. It's barely working, too. There it is. There it is. <laughs> I've you, had you, this thing forever. I could ro drive my car over this. It would mm. still work. Yeah, as long as it works. What the heck? It's a phone. You know what I use it for? <laughs> to make <a> Calls! <laughs> All right? I don't use the internet. I don't watch TV. I make calls because it's a phone. Right. These phones are getting too complicated. They are. What happened, Ed? We used to get, these are the big phones. Mm -hmm. Then they shrunk mm -hmm. them down. Shrink them down. Smaller, smaller, mm -hmm. smaller, 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 smaller. Oh, too small. Bigger, 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 bigger. Now they're getting bigger again. I kind of like the ones that you are laughed at now, but they used to open up. They were actually the kind of the size of a phone. The flip phone. The flip phone. Yes. You know. Go, go back and watch the original Wall Street and see what he's got held up against his head as he's walking on the beach. Yeah, this I mean, massive thing. It's like a pay phone he's got to his head. The only thing that dates the Seinfeld episodes is when Jerry pulls out his phone with the giant antenna <laughs> on it. <laughs> All right, well, on the season the opener, Dave, and it's a big one, the, the 21st season. Not many shows go this long. I think only Gunsmoke. <laughs> the reason why this show has lasted 21 seasons is because it's not ratings-based. Um, That's why. We can't get canceled. Right. We can't get canceled unless 
you know, we say something. No, that, we won't do. That's happened before with the, what was the name of that? <laughs> Comedy Unchained? Comedy Unchained it's was canceled. 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 Not only canceled. was it canceled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was way ahead of its time. Wasn't the and too soon? Even. Wasn't the fourth episode <laughs> never aired? Right, it's still in the vault somewhere. <laughs> if you would like to know why that show was canceled, we can't even mention it in this politically correct no. time we're in. No, it was a good sketch though. It was a good sketch, but uh, by God, I didn't even know what the subject matter was. It was I so remember. Fresh. I do know what it was, but I, at that time, it was so fresh, like within months of yes. it being. Debuted and <laughs> debuted <laughs> or discovered. <laughs> right, it was a horrible thing. Yeah, it's not. Well, it was a different time. It was the early '80s. And it was. These sketches were okay then. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> got canceled. I know. It depends who the program yeah, well. manager was. Mm. All right, what do we have tonight? <laughs> <laughs> We've got some movies, Ed. We've okay. got Hotel Transylvania Two. Mm. We've got The Intern, oh. and we've got The Green Inferno. Three films tonight. There you go. Three films. Are we getting right into them? Let's get into it. Don't forget, it. we got deaths, we got video, all that stuff. But here we go. Hotel Transylvania 2. All right, this is going to take forever, but here we go. It stars Mel Brooks, Adam Sandler, David Spade, Steve Buscemi, Kevin James, Molly Shannon, John Lovitz, Andy Samberg, Selena Gomez, Fran Drescher, and CeeLo Green. Whew. Everything seems to be changing for the better at Hotel Transylvania. Dracula's rigid, monster-only hotel policy has finally relaxed, opening up its doors to human guests. But behind closed coffins, Drac is worried that his adorable half-human, half-vampire grandson, Dennis, isn't showing signs of being a vampire. Vampa Drac puts Dennis through a monster-in-training boot camp. But little do they know that Drac's grumpy and very old, old, old school dad, Vlad, is about to pay a family visit to the hotel. And when Vlad finds out that his great-grandson is not a pure blood and humans are now welcome at Hotel Transylvania, things are going to get batty. It's rated PG for some scary images, action, and rude humor. Go ahead. So I kind of wanted to see the first one, never got to it. But I'm looking at this one. This looks a lot like, remember that mad monster party when we were kids with yes. puppetoons? Mm -hmm. This kind of give me that vibe a little bit. Hmm. With all the little, monsters. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Except mm -hmm. you didn't have Boris Karloff right. in this one. It, it harkens back to Bobby Boris Pickett and the Monster Mash. And it's just, it's just got a, you know, it's just got a list of, of you know, after you get mm -hmm. past Mel Brooks, <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of talent there. There isn't. What about Adam Sandler? Could we add there's this? not a lot of talent there. <laughs> Could we add this into one of the best Adam Sandler films? I would happen to say yes, Dave. Would you? Yeah. You go right ahead. There's Mel Brooks, vampire. He's the he's the got to be the grandfather. Yes. Right? These doormen sort of remind me of that uh, Mad Monster Party. Do you remember them in that? Uh, the no. bellhops with the no. red suits. No. no. Might be time to revisit that film. Maybe. This just looks awful. <laughs> <laughs> now, for those of you in the production booth, some of these clips, there may not be uh, credits at the end of them. So they just end? Remind me in future... Uh, yes, that one didn't. It said uh, titles or no titles. And I think I always clicked on the one that said titles. I thought it meant the, you know, countdown at the beginning, but apparently it's the titles on the clip. Ah, so you erred. So I won't do that anymore except no. this taping. All right. <laughs> or the next three. The next three show. Oh. This may not have the uh, things, but you, it faded the black. You know where to cut it. Okay. You live, you learn. You live, you learn. What song was that from? <laughs> Alice Isn't that Alanis Morissette? Morissette yes. All right, the intern. This uh, looked uh, kind of interesting to me. I don't know. See what you think, Dave. Okay. Anne Hathaway, Robert De Niro, seventy-year-old <laughs> Mr. Periwinkle, <laughs> <laughs> widower Ben Whitaker has discovered that retirement isn't all it's cracked up to be. Seizing an opportunity to get back in the game, he becomes a senior intern at an online fashion site founded and run by Jules Austin. Which is Anne Hathaway. Yeah. That's kind of an interesting idea, the old uh, Robert De Niro with, as the intern, isn't it? Um, no. It could be interesting, but it, 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 I think if it's going to be saved, it'll be saved by the, uh, 
talents of the actors because I, it, it kind of reeks of a one joke premise here. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, you know, how, how this will, how this will go. Seems like there's been something like this before though. Where the older person comes into a situation. Well, wouldn't this be similar to what was the one with Vince Vaughn, the internship or something? Oh, yeah. They interned at, what was it, Google? They were in Google, yeah. But weren't they a little older? I mean, not, obviously not too. Uh, they were older, but not older. They, right. They were all like college age kids and they were 30 year olds. Right. The company, the family, pressure was unbelievable. I don't know. I just don't. It doesn't make for an interesting trailer, I'll tell you uh, that, when well, you're trying to find something to That's talk about. true. Maybe we should do a special on uh, top Robert De Niro films. <laughs> we could. We should. If you have an idea oh, dear. for a special show you'd like us to do. I say we do about 50 special shows and then we never have to come back and do another show again. Well, that's the game plan, Dave. Is it? As long as we're taping shows, we've been doing this lately, you know, do a couple of specials. I say we only need 25. We can read one <laughs> to a year, right? Maybe. Oh, look at that. No need for the Viagra. Mm -hmm. A boing is the... His young uh, computer nerds there. Wow. Helping him out with the hijinks. Oh, this will be opening on Friday, <laughs> folks, so get your tickets online now. Mm -hmm. Stand in line at 10 at night on Thursday so you don't miss all the excitement. I oh. believe American Pharaoh will be there so you can all stand and watch oh, the horse walk by and poop. What an exciting summer we've had, Dave. Oh. <laughs> it's uh, so sad it's over. It's all over a couple of weeks ago, or in three days, as we tape this uh, well, here. When is the first day? Isn't it like right around now? First day of spring or, or fall? Uh, fall, yeah, it's usually late 22nd. September. The producer can tell us it right after he looks at the TMZ update. Right. Yeah, check it out for us. We you don't see it on there. Maybe the 21st? Yeah, it's usually around the 21st. So we are, it's already fall. Mm -hmm. This is awful. All right, let's move into the Green Inferno. Our final... Uh, a film that Ed believes should have been out last year. It was supposed to be out last year. But here it is. It stars Lorenza Izzo, Ariel Levy, and Daryl Sabara. From acclaimed horror director Eli Roth, The Green Inferno follows a group of student activists who travel from New York City to the Amazon to save the rainforest. However, once they arrive in this vast green landscape, they soon discover that they are not alone and that no good deed goes unpunished. It's rated R for aberrant violence and torture, grisly disturbing images, brief, graphic, nudity, sexual content, language, and so drug use. It has a, I noticed there's an actor in here that was also in one of the, I believe, Hostel, maybe the second Hostel, I think. The, the father there? Or? Yeah, it might have been. I just had a brief, well, I looked up briefly. Here's in that Dick Clark show where they went back to the 50s in the American Bandstand. This is, by the way, the Red Band trailer with a few trends to it. Is it? Okay. It's kind of like, it looks like the cannibal Holocaust. Holocaust. Yes. I think that's what we were going for here. Very graphic, aberrant, aberrant behavior. Oh, there's nothing I like better than some aberrant violence or murder. Or Notice the quick cuts in oh. that section there. Did you do that, Ed? I did that. Yeah. I may, I may have to see this. I think... Uh, but not in the theater. Not in the theater. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the kid's got a leg up. <laughs> Coming soon, like a year later. That's it. There you go. Hmm. Hmm. Eli, Eli, Eli Roth is good for his uh, trying to be as graphic as he can. Yeah, the hostels, you know. Well, were they all? How many hostels were there? I think there were three. I only saw the first two, but I don't know if there was a third. I seem to think there was a third. The second, there were more females. Was there a third one? Vegas. Vegas. Oh, jeez. Took place in Vegas. Okay. Yeah, I saw that the, the second one was a little more graphic, especially with the nudity. But yes, it was females. Uh, so, yeah, but it was pretty bloody and violent. And Just the way we like him. We do. We do like him. And remember and we were looking uh, for the Human Centipede 3 yes. for a long time. Now, it's been out on demand, I believe, first. But I believe it's coming soon on uh, you know DVD and Blu-ray for those of you that like what it. What about Netflix? Might be on Netflix already. Oh, I have to check. Do you have the Netflix? You I, do. Have, I don't have.
on Netflix. <laughs> you have Netflix. I have Netflix. Well, my son has Netflix, so I just signed in as him. <laughs> <laughs> and you have Hulu? The producer has Hulu. Yes. So we have all these platforms covered. And I still like to buy... The first two centipedes are on Hulu. Yeah. Okay. The, the third one, I think, I think maybe October it was coming out. Odd to release uh, thing. All right. Got to see that one. We saw the first two. We have to see the third one. The, the producer saw it. You the, saw the third one? On a plane. So. Oh, that's right, you did. Yeah, okay, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me what it's about. <laughs> All right, what's next? Death? We have some... Video? Uh, I DVDs? Think we have DVD releases oh, first. Oh, let's do some DVD releases. <laughs> oh, God. Seven of these. You can buy the seventh one if you have all the other ones in your collection, Dave. So all I need now is to get the seventh one, since I already have the first six? Uh, yeah. Well, I bought this wheel. It was very <laughs> cheap. <laughs> I've never seen a Fast and Furious movie. You know, I like <laughs> these, I? these collector's versions. So I got it, it included all six movies with space for the seventh when it came out. So now here it is with all seven and uh, all together. So I have mine that was all six. I can just buy the seventh when it goes on sale and stick it into my collection where I will have the full wheel set. What are you going to do when the eighth one comes out? <laughs> I'm out of luck. <laughs> is it seven per wheel and you, the, the franchise is to build a car? <laughs> it might be. So you'll have four wheels and 28 films? That reminds me, I'm going to start watching them soon. <laughs> well, except that third one was supposed to be bad, I think. Cinderella. Now, this came out a long time ago in the spring, and it's coming out now, I guess, for the holidays. Now we're going to get all your gift sets coming out now. <laughs> Monkey Kingdom. Now, do you remember this for Earth Day a few months back? <laughs> no. This remember. was the one that had the mo haircut, the monkey. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that, yes, I do remember I think that. I have to watch this. I don't know if I'll buy it, but I have to watch this for that mo haircut. It looked like a riot. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> now, this is an unrated, usually it's an unrated director's cut. This is the unrated producer's cut oh. of the last one with Donald Pleasance. Oh, okay. So this isn't the new... This isn't five, six. I believe this was seven. Okay. The last of the good ones. <laughs> in quotes. Be interesting to see uh, stuff they cut out. That was, you know, late 80s, 90s, where they cut everything to pieces. Now you can see it on TV. House of the Long Shadows. Oh, I see. This is kind of a long lost film with all your horror I greats. See. I can tell who they are. There's uh, top is Christopher <laughs> Lee, Vincent Price, John Carradine, Peter Cushing. Okay, there's one name that doesn't, it's like the yeah, electric company. There. Which one doesn't belong? Desi, Desi Arnaz Jr. <laughs> what the hell is he doing in He's there? He's the one holding the uh, lamp, the, the candles. Mm -hmm. That's got to be him. Yeah. And who's the, uh, who's the girl? Lucy? <laughs> I, I never heard of that. that. I never heard of that. I've one. heard of it. It was never available anywhere. Mm. The Legacy. This was, um, hmm, what's her name from uh, Stepford Wives? Catherine, Kathy. Oh, I know who you're talking about. I see yeah. long brown hair. Yeah, I see it there. Uh, wasn't she in one of those westerns too? Yeah, um, Butch Cassidy. Yeah. Uh, I remember Catherine Ross. There you go. There came to me. Is this, this isn't recent, is it? No, this is 70s. Okay. I remember watching this on HBO at the time, but I have no idea what it's about. But if you want to see it again on Blu-ray and see Catherine Ross, there it is. Okay. Al Pacino, Dog Day Afternoon. <laughs> also that? starring the, the guy whose name we were trying to remember. John Cazale, mm -hmm. who was dating Meryl Streep, uh, who was, I believe, living with him at the time of his passing. Hmm. They were quite the couple. They were both in uh, Deer Hunter, right? Yeah, I believe he made maybe three films, and each one of them won Best Picture. Mm-hmm. And then he passed on and early. He, he did. He died very young. And yeah, this should be interesting. And it's the same picture of him. <laughs> yes. Oh. This is a documentary. There you go. Uh, I knew it was you. Jeez. That's like we discovered that it was the same guy in Dog Day Afternoon, 
as uh, what was the name of Godfather? Uh, Fredo. 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 <laughs> so that should be interesting to see that. A great actor taken way too soon. Well, I guess, Dave. Well, what do you got, Ed? What do, do you got? We on do your have mind? the death since no one uh, passed on. No one did? Uh, during the show. Oh. <laughs> like a few weeks ago. Okay. That was a shocking thing when Roddy, Rowdy, Roddy Piper. Right. Huh. <laughs> Rowdy, Roddy, Rowdy. Rowdy, Roddy Piper. Speaking of wrestlers, I, I oh. wish I remembered the name of the two wrestlers that were down at the Fanacon. Well, you know, one wasn't Jimmy Superfly Snooker. No. Because he being held on bail. No, oh, no, not for murdering, Jimmy. murdering his girlfriend 32 years ago. What do you do? Get off of a match and rage? <laughs> Steroid <know>. rage? <laughs> no, no, but it took him 32 years to, oh, to yeah. find that. Quincy would have found that a lot sooner. <laughs> Here we go, recent deaths. And here it is. <laughs> As we were taping, Dave. Yes. We were shocked. Shocked to hear this. No, was he? Oh, 61. 61. Yeah, that's very young. Is that what it was? It was a heart attack, though, right? Or that The clot caused the heart attack and the roids caused the oh, clot. Could happen to any of us it at could. any moment. Ed. It could. More of a chance if you're on the roids. So. <laughs> Yvonne Craig, that girl. Yeah, remember we were talking about all the toys that were just coming out? You yes. got a question in the booth? Did she ever do chiller shows? Yes. She was at one, um, one of those early ones that I went to in the 90s where I didn't have a lot of <laughs> disposable income <laughs> and I did not get her autograph or picture. Oh. And I will never will now, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know if this had anything to do with... She was one of the last one of the originals to sign any of the paperwork on all the new toys and things from the Blu-ray. So I don't know if she was trying to get a better deal for her, you know, survivors, or she just uh, was too sick to bother with any of that. But she had the classic roles as Batgirl and then the green dancing girl that Kirk probably made whoopee to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dean Jones. Uh, well known as a, as a Disney actor for his Herbie and. Well, he did a bunch of Disney films. Did he do one where the computer wore tennis shoes? Or I don't know if he did that. That was Kurt, Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell was in a lot of those. Things. I don't know if Dean Jones was in that, but I know he did, like, wasn't there three Herbie movies he did? There was four Herbie four? ones. I think he only did two. Two Shaggy films, I think he was in. And maybe he was in that remake not too long ago. I think he was in that. Go on too soon, Dave. Oh, really? That's too soon, 84? <laughs> and there's Frank Gifford. Yeah, there he is so young in 1952 on his card. Yep. And, and then the classic football. Yep, Monday Night Football. Who's the one in the middle, I forget? The... Dandy Don Meredith. Oh, Dandy. And, of course, oh. the wig. Yes. And then this is the lovely family. I mean, remember Cody and Cassidy, who <laughs> Howard Stern would always make fun of. Right. And there's a Cody, very tall now. I'm beginning to wonder if Frank was really the father. Oh. And then Cassidy, we went right by this when we did the, that Gallows film in the summer, but Cassidy was in that Gallows film. Wasn't there, an, uh, several years ago, a uh, incident where Frank was fooling around? <laughs> or he was... <laughs> Was something went on? Was he? Remember, we did a sketch sort did of we? on that. <laughs> up there. He, there was a big girl with big bosoms, and remember, he wanted to uh, touch them, and, <laughs> and uh, it was a big scandal. But he was forgiven for all oh. that, Kathy Lee That's said. That's right, because she's uh, quite the uh, religious uh, Christian yeah. soul. As so. she sits there <laughs> drinking wine every <laughs> when she oh. does her show with Hoda mm -hmm. Kotti or whatever mm -hmm. her name is. Wes Craven, that's oh, a biggie. That was a big one. 76, brain so, cancer. I think this is the last one. Can't we give Wes, Wes a second <laughs> time? <laughs> no, we get too busy talking about Frank Graham and Big Hooters, <laughs> right. and we pass right over an, an icon of horror films. Yes. Oh, we got to go. Well, well, we got five minutes. We got to do a game, or are we not going to do a game? We're doing the game, of All right, course. let's do the game. Are we doing that now? 
Sure. Yeah. Ooh, all right. It's the post pairs <laughs> game. We're so excited to do this. It's post pairs game where you've sent in uh, an email with two numbers from one to six. You, you, you going to get up there okay yet? Oh, my God. I'm getting up. I just saw a giant crack. <laughs> did you all pull my pants up? Oh, dear. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, did it dear. <laughs> oh, did it dear, dear, Pooh. It's ah. like... Uh, it's like when Oprah Winf- Winfrey bends over. It's a full moon. <laughs> I wasn't um, camera ready from behind. From the front, I'm all right. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> As Charles Nelson Riley would say. Uh, post a pairs game, two numbers from one, one to six. And if we pick your name and we reveal the two numbers, if the posters match you in two free movie passes, if you're right, spin the wheel. We'll spin the, uh, you know, bicycle tire. And you can win possibly ten tickets. Yeah. Over to you, Ed. I was just informed that it was the possibility of uh, a guest host matinee lady coming in, which would be nice because oh. I've been doing this getting up out of the chair for good over a year now. <laughs> and, and has it caused you great harm? <laughs> it hasn't really. All right, here we go. Mixing them up good, even though you just shook them. I shook them up good. Get a good one. Mm. Ooh. And it's four minutes till the air conditioner comes Michelle, on. <laughs> Michelle Christofulli, one and two. One and two. And if she imagines, she wants to spin the wheel. We ain't got time for that. Remember, if we got a big one, too, I have my new gun here. Okay. <laughs> what is one it? and two. One and two. All right. Oh. oh. The big gun only comes out if we spin the wheel and it's more than two. All right. But there's a lot of cleanup involved. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll talk to our possible guest matinee lady to ask her when the big gun comes out. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> oh. All right, well, if oh. you want to enter, I'm sorry, did I? Did I no, I was just saying, yeah, we got to tell oh. folks how to enter the contest. Right. If you want to enter the contest and lose like Michelle did, <laughs> nah, we get winners. Uh, just send an email to mediazone95 at gmail.com. Mediazone95 at gmail.com. Send in an email with two numbers from one to six. And like I said, if we select your name and uh, reveal the two numbers and they match with the two free movie passes, if you write spin the wheel as part of your email, you could possibly win 10 tickets. And here you go. You have one chance to win 10, two chances to win six, two to win four, six chances to keep the two you just won, five you lose one, two you lose them both. And that's how it works. That's how it rolls. I'm looking, we have three films next time. One, two, three. The next week after that, and three, and three, and three. So, so Fanacon uh, next time? Fanacon, that's what I'm getting to, Jay. Let's do Fanacon. We got to do Fanacon. We have to review the Fanacon, which was about a month ago by the time we get to it. And boy, is, was there a lot of excitement going on in that egg down there. Oh. Then. We got a lot to go over. All right, let's do that. All right, uh, we'll see you next time.